morning, everyone. Hey, last night we splurged just a little bit and got a hotel right on the beach, which was really neat. We don't normally do that because we're not willing to spend that kind of money, but it was nice for a one-time deal. We used the hair dryer to get all our gear dried out, and so we're ready to hit the road again this morning. This morning we're going to ride right along uh, the beach here at Clearwater, uh, down through uh, all the beach access areas and then we're going to end up at uh, Fort DeSoto a little bit later on today and uh, there's a little bit of a history there at Fort DeSoto for me. Well what a difference a day makes. We wake up to sunshine and barely a cloud in the sky. What a way to start out the day. We start out heading south on Gulf Boulevard in Clearwater Beach here as we weave in and out all the support vehicles that come in to service the uh, high-rise hotels and beach resorts that line the road. Here we're riding over the bridge and clear water pass. Off to our right here is Sand Key Park. Pretty little area. Gulf Boulevard runs north and south for about 20 miles with eight access points that get you out to the barrier island. As you can see, the road isn't too heavily traveled. We're past the spring breakers and because of COVID-19, we didn't have nearly as many tourists here in Florida. And it left the roads that would normally be just packed with traffic uh, pretty open. To the left of the road here, this canal is part of the intercoastal waterway. It runs all the way from the northeast coast of the United States, all around Florida for the uh, east coast and around the tip down by uh, Key West and then back up the west coast all the way to Brownsville, Texas. This allows boats to travel um, inland waterways without having to go out onto the open sea. So far, we've gone past Bel Air Beach, Indian Rocks Beach, Reddington Shores, North Reddington Beach, and Madura Beach. Here we are going over the bridge at Johns Pass and we'll end up here in front of us is Treasure Island. Here we are crossing the bridge at Blind Pass and heading into St. Pete Beach area. at the light to go to Fort DeSoto, but if you head straight through this light, you end up at Passa Grill Beach. It's a great spot and I've spent some time there. We pass through the toll booth of the Pinellas Bayway here as we cross over the intercoastal waterway. This bridge takes us to Isla del Sol where we'll turn south for Fort DeSoto. over main channel which connects to Pasa Grill channel. If you 
you look dead center at the screen, you can see the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Well, we made it to Fort DeSoto. Isn't it beautiful here? And this kind of has uh, a little bit of sentimental value, uh, Fort DeSoto Park does. Is when I was a young man, uh, three friends and I, Roy was one of them, uh, I went out and bought a motorcycle in two days. It was kind of a barn motorcycle. And within a month, we were headed to Florida on motorcycles. And one of the places we stayed at was here at Fort DeSoto Park right along the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, camping in the campground there, we got ate up by the noceums, but we had a blast on the beach and hitting the bars at night. a little crab he jumped right down into this little hole too bad I didn't get him on video this little raccoon came right up to Sherry's pant leg begging for food he stood right between us he is a cute little booger isn't he What I remember about the beach here when we were in the water were the uh, sand dollars and the stingrays. You'd step on those. Uh, the sand dollars uh, would kind of stain your feet this uh, purple color and the stingrays would just kind of shock you a little bit. Sherry and I took a walk up along the beach up to Fort DeSoto, the actual fort, and uh, the waves and the sound of the surf was just kind of made for a relaxing walk. As we're checking out a part of Fort DeSoto that's been reclaimed by the sea, we're getting some entertainment here from this little uh, sandpiper running up and down the surf. of Fort DeSoto makes for a nice stop as you check out the beach in the park. Soto still houses some of its guns and mortars, which are quite rare. If you'd like a more detailed history of Fort DeSoto batteries and military posts, you can pause on the video right here and read this placard. pass another marina here it's notable because Florida ranks number one in the United States for recreational boating and sailing here we are on the causeway that takes us to the Sunshine Skyway Bridge after we pay our toll here we'll be up and over the Tampa Bay to Terracia Many times here at the North Fishing Pier, there are kite surfers. I was going to stop and take some video of them, but alas, today there weren't any out there. 
The fishing pier is made up of the old highway bridge that was destroyed in 1980 by a maritime accident when a ship hit one of the bridge supports. Tragically, 35 people lost their lives when their vehicles plunged into Tampa Bay. The current Sunshine Skyway Bridge opened to traffic in 1987 and is still in use today. Unfortunately, the new bridge has kind of a gruesome uh, history as well, and you can see that they're installing netting here to prevent jumpers. Despite the heartbreaking history of the bridge, it provides spectacular views of Tampa Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. If you're lucky, you might be treated to an ocean-going ship going underneath the bridge, or maybe even dolphins out in the bay. Just like on the north side, on the south side, the old bridge is used as a fishing pier. This gets daily use as I see numerous, sometimes hundreds of fishermen out there. Unlike yesterday when it was raining like crazy, today as we cross the Manatee River, you can see the marina here on the right hand side as we go from Palmetta to Bradington. And here on the right is another big marina that Sherry and I once considered housing a boat in. from Bradenton to Venice just flew by and we decided to take El Jabin Road back instead of 41. Here we are crossing the Mayaca River just outside of Port Charlotte. We're on the home stretch here as we cross the Peace River from Port Charlotte to Punta Gorda. This means we're getting really close to home. I never get tired of this view of Charlotte Harbor. As I head through the construction here, I desperately just want to take a hard right and hit the dirt with Sumo. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed our two day set of videos from Punta Gorda up to Tampa and back. We really had a fun time and it was nice to see our daughter and her fiance. Well, if you like this video, please give it the big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Well, this is the end of day two. We made it home safe and sound. I hope you like this uh, two day set of videos up from Punta Gorda up to Tampa and back. And if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe below. Thank you.